Well, guys, I think I might have found a hidden gem for you. We're going to talk about what it is that the Hemingway Rye Whiskey has to offer. Let's talk about that today on the My Bourbon Journey Whiskey Review Channel. Let's do this. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. So a whiskey like this, when you don't have a lot of expectation going into it and what it does after you've kind of spent a little bit of time with it, gets you excited again for what it is and what types of whiskeys are out there that are just available for the most part that everyone doesn't even know about quite yet. And hopefully this will be one of those whiskeys for you guys. So what exactly is this? So this is the Hemingway Rye Whiskey, technically their first edition. It's coming in at 100 proof, and the mash bill on this is a 95.5 aged in rum seasoned Oloroso sherry cask. 94% nine-year Indiana rye and 6% four-year Kentucky rye. Technically not aged stated, and the MSRP is coming in at right around $110 on this one. So excited to do today's review for you guys. I think this is gonna be one of those whiskeys that you're truly, truly going to appreciate. And it's one that I truly appreciated as I kind of sat down with it. So let's go ahead and kind of dive into it and we'll take a look at the color here right away. So as you can see, and as you'd expect, you know, with it being aged in a rum seasoned Oloroso sherry cask, beautiful color, rich kind of mahogany, dark, deep, rich kind of copper color on that. Moving the whiskey around in the glass again, even with it at 100 proof, pretty nice oils on that. Let's go ahead and dive into the nose and we'll kind of see what this one has to offer. Oh boy, so right away, immediately this really rich like cherry cordial. Right away is even with it being a finished whiskey, you have not lost that rye whiskey component at all. It is very prevalent, so it's letting you know that it is a rye whiskey. It's also giving me these slightly older like oak notes. Oftentimes I'll refer to that as kind of like the Rick House effect, but it smells like an older, richer, deeper kind of whiskey soaked wood. Yeah, beautiful oak influence on this. Some of the tropical notes. I'm guessing this is probably where a little bit more of that rum aspect is kind of coming out in it. So you are getting a little bit or a little hint of that tropical note. With that cherry cordial, for me, that signifies that it was beautifully finished because when you're picking up both of the influences of that barrel, that's a great sign that it was probably pulled at the right time. Not one is overshadowing the other. So when you're looking for a really great finished whiskey, this is a great sign of that where you're getting still the remaining rye whiskey components, but with both the sherry, those kind of fruit notes, and then also the rum, more of the tropical type of fruit notes. Yeah, beautiful like burnt brown sugar. Almost like a charred like honey note as well. A little bit of a combo here, a little bit more of like a, a orange and a little bit of this kind of tartness from like a lemon, but the nice kind of combo there as well. And here's one other thing from a leather standpoint, there's this old like baseball glove uh, note that I'm kind of picking up one that's just old and worn. And what it kind of took me back to was a baseball glove that my grandfather used to have. And it just I always every time I'd smell the thing, I would always think it just smelled old and nasty. And that's kind of exactly what I'm getting. But I like that in the whiskey where it's giving you that kind of older whiskey, older leather older kind of oak kind of profile that's going very, very well with that rum seasoned Oloroso sherry cask. All right, so let's go ahead and see how this one's gonna taste. But before we do, let's hear from today's video sponsor. So today we're talking whiskey glasses. When only the best is what you demand, Uniwisk has you covered. Who wants ordinary when you can have something that's extraordinary? Each one of these whiskey glasses is hand cut, and crafted using only the finest lead-free crystal glass. These glasses come in several different designs. These two glasses here happen to be the Supernova and the Gravity. They come both packaged in single individual glasses, or you can select the set to have these shipped 
Make sure you use the code JOURNEY10 at checkout. That's gonna save you an additional 10% off your entire order. I have to say a big thank you to Uniwisk for sponsoring today's video. Interesting, so like I got on the nose, immediately there's this like beautiful cherry chocolate, rye spice, beautiful oak that's on this. It's what's coming to mind like right away. Second to that is a really nice mouthfeel. At 100 proof, it's still very viscous, very oily. It's holding up very well on the palate so far. Slight kind of leather dryness on the palate. Even say a little bit of the, the rye influence that's coming out now on the palate would be a little hint of like a, a mint note that's there. Uh, but it feels more like a a fresh mint, not like a fake mint. This feels much more like a, a fresh mint from the standpoint of it not being completely overwhelming from a mint standpoint. Those really nice, rich, dark fruits are kind of starting to really kind of come out, sit on the palate. The more I kind of sip on it, the longer this thing is really kind of finishing for the most part. It's leaving a lot of that kind of baseball glove leather, nice dark fruits, brown sugars. Again, that great kind of tropical fruit combo with the dark fruit. I think so far it's an absolutely fantastic finished rye whiskey. Yeah, what I have to say about this is, like I was getting on the nose, the balance of everything is done for me like perfectly. You're getting a lot of still the rye whiskey components you know, still that nice spice, a little bit of mint. So you are picking up on the, the rye whiskey aspect, but then also the combo of the two kind of different fruits. You've got the heavier dark fruit aspect of it. Maybe some of those like cherries, things along those lines, plum, all of that, those dark kind of fruits like that mixed again a little bit with that tropical influence. So, um, you know, Whatever those tropical fruits are that identify for you that kind of make that, that's kind of what you're picking up. So maybe like a, you know, a juicy fruit bubble gum, all kind of combo. But again, all working extremely well together. There's also a little bit of a cherry vanilla cream soda that's kind of coming through. There's a little bit of, a, of an effervescent to it you know, kind of combine again, the creaminess. So it's sitting on the palate, fairly oily, but again, a little bit more of that kind of vanilla cream soda with some cherry that's there in it as well. Like I mentioned earlier on, the one thing I do appreciate this as a finished whiskey is as much as I love the finish that's on it, I still love the fact that you've never lost focus on the whiskey component. And for me, that's still very important. I don't want necessarily a whiskey that's just gonna be overshadowed by whatever the finish is. You want all of them to play well together. And for me, this is probably one of the better finished rye whiskeys that I've had in some time based on all of it and how cohesive it really all is and how well they're really working together. Overall, you know, for me, it's just an absolutely beautiful whiskey. And I think for Anyone who's able to get their hands on the Hemingway Rye Whiskey First Edition, again, this is aged in rum seasoned Oloroso sherry casks. If you can get this, I think it's gonna be well worth your money. At $110, even at 100 proof, this thing I think drinks a little bit above its proof point, but it's just at the end of the day, if it's a beautiful whiskey, if it's something you really, really enjoy, and for me, it is all of that. It's a whiskey that I would really enjoy just sitting down with, taking your time, enjoying it, or enjoying it with you know some great friends, whatever it may be. If you're able to, again, find the Hemingway rye whiskey, again, finished in rum seasoned Oloroso sherry casks, I wouldn't hesitate to buy this at all. Fantastic, beautiful whiskey. I think it's gonna be one that you're truly, truly going to enjoy. So. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another one of my reviews. Uh, appreciate that very much. Uh, if you'd like to follow me, you can on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of those places at My Bourbon Journey. Uh, if you'd like to help support the channel, 
or become part of the Mash and Journey Whiskey Club, make sure you check out the Patreon link in the description below. A lot of other great stuff down there for you guys as well. So with that being said, again, thank you guys for tuning in. And remember, it's about the journey and not the destination. Cheers. But I wouldn't trade it all for the world With you I get high With you I'm alive With you I'm away How do we find love in a hidden place? Let's just escape